we have learned that in linear equation in two variables, we can have different sets or pairs of answers. We can use a table or graph to represent those answers. Let's look back at those examples that we used just now about tomatoes and carrots and see how we can use a table and a graph to represent those answers. We have 50 ringgit. If we buy 30 carrots, we can buy 10 tomatoes. If we buy 20 carrots, we can buy 15 tomatoes. If we buy 10 carrots, we can buy 20 tomatoes. If we don't buy any carrots, we can buy 25 tomatoes. Now, if we use X to represent carrots and Y to represent tomatoes, then when X is 30, Y is 10. When X is 20, Y is 15. When X is 10, Y is 20. When X is 0, Y is 25. So here we have a table to represent the different pairs or sets of answers for this linear equation in two variables. As for graph, when x is 30, y is 10. When x is 20, y is 15. When x is 10, y is 20. When x is 0, y is 25. Then we use a straight line to connect all the points. Every point on the line represents one set or one pair of answer for the equation. For example, this point is x is 16, y is 17. It means that 16 carrots and 17 tomatoes is also 50 ringgit. Let's look at one more example. 1 over 2 x plus y is 6. And we want to use a graph to represent the answers. How are we going to draw the graph? Actually, the easiest way to draw a graph is to find the two points where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Take this example. When x is 0, we plug in the number 0. 1 over 2 times 0 is 0. y is 6. The answer is x is 0, y is 6. So we get the coordinate 0, 6. When y is 0, we plug in the number 0, so we get 1 over x plus 0 is 6. x is equal to 6 times 2, and x is 12. The answer is y is 0, x is 12. So we get the coordinate 12, 0. Coordinate 0, 6 is here while coordinate 12, 0 is here. When we have these two points, we can connect them with a straight line. And this line is 1 over 2x plus y is equal to 6. Every point on this line represents a set of solutions to this equation. Please do the quiz.